Welcome to 519 Diecast. Got my weekend haul here. I got quite a bit of stuff. I got uh, M2 Chase. I got Green Light Chase. I got an Auto World Ultra Red. Uh, Johnny Lightning White Lightning. Uh, I can't think of any other chases I got, but I got quite a bit of stuff. Mini GT. Uh, one Hot Wheel, which is kind of unique. Uh, yeah, a little bit of everything, I guess. Yeah, we'll get started on it. And actually, this first one here is from Johnny Lightning. It's 1977 Pontiac Firebird TA. Now, I really didn't want to take this out of the package, but it looks so good. I pulled it out, and this way you get to see it yourself, too. It is really, really sharp. They did a fantastic job with this. I'm going to show you what they look like in the package after I'm done with all these loose ones I got, but uh, man, they did a nice job. There's the... Uh, Phoenix there, pretty cool. They did a nice job with this car. It's just, I don't know what to say about it, to tell you the truth. It's just, just really, really nice. Now, it does look like the hood should open on this one, but I could not get it open, so uh, I wasn't going to force it. So I'm just going to leave it at that. Hopefully, it'll focus in on that there. That is cool. This is a really, really nice car. And I would imagine it's pretty sought after, this one, from Johnny Lightning. But uh, that thing is just awesome. Absolutely love this thing. thing is gorgeous. And then we got some Mini GT here. And this is the Lamborghini Huracan STO, it's called. And this is done in a green, which is... Pretty unique for sure. It's a very unique green, but it looks pretty good. Get her come around here. It's pretty sharp. Mini GT does a nice job. Nothing you can say about them really. Like it's just awesome. Do a bang up job with this stuff. The green on this is very nice. Lots of metallic in it. And again, it's got rubber mirrors on it. Gotta be careful. I did reorder my. Uh, dragon snake that I broke the mirror off so I'll have one of them coming again yeah there's the front of that thing is just wow very nice nice color green and I wish you could see the detail inside there but pretty hard to do on camera there's lots of detail in there nice just a bang up car there Beauty. It looks good in this green. Got the uh, carbon fiber spoiler on the back. Very nice. Yeah, just awesome. Beauty car. Beauty. And another one from Mini GT I got is a 1983. Silverado right there. I have the one in white and I thought well I'll get this one in blue Zoom it out a little bit uh, If you watched the channel for long, but you would have seen the white one and uh, Yeah, this is just a different color same truck just different color. This thing does roll very very nice Thing is very sharp the color blue on this or it's kind of a purpley blue just awesome and it's a title house, I guess it is. So yeah, the details there. The detail is in this thing. You see under the hood, if this hood opens, I never open this one. There we go. See there's twin turbos in there. It's got the little stickers on there. Like it's uh, the detail on this stuff. Very, very nice. And the color is just amazing. Close the hood down. There's a grill. Sits nice and low for sure. That thing's awesome. And I don't think you'll be able to see inside. Maybe a little bit. There's detail in there. Yeah, just a beauty car. Or a truck, I guess. And the tailgate opens on it as well. Actually, I've never opened it. Uh, there we go. She's open. Tailgate's open. There's the box. 
very nice doing a nice job and it's got heartbeat of America on the back window beauty I think it's just awesome and it does roll quite nice and then the bottom there's the uh, bottom there it's kind of an odd color I think it's just cool that color they do on the bottom side of these things it's awesome so yeah there's that so then there we got a another one this one's is um, M2 which I said that I'd probably open I think it was last weekend I'd probably open one of these up to show you because I've always liked this casting I think it's very very nice it is a 1966 Chevy Corvette 427 and this is the lemon peeler uh, stingray bicycles I guess it is from Schwinn uh, yeah this thing is nice and the hood opens on this this is M2 you know so you gotta see what's there there's the under the hood oh, it's got the engine painted up chrome breather on there I've never opened the doors uh, let's try it and the door opens without breaking off that's pretty good that's a good start so yeah you can see a little bit in there nice big side pipes on her which is just cool cool wheels I showed this in the package last week I believe might have been the week before I'm not sure there's the top but yeah it looks cool looks much better out of the package for sure there's that just beauty oh this door is open for me as well uh, no it doesn't want to open I'm not going to force it but it's a super cool casting always like this thing and then we got one that normally I would not do but it got me and this is Hot Wheels and it's 143 scale Porsche 911 GT3 RS now I'm staying away from 143 scale I did not want nothing to do with them I did do a few back a while ago and uh, now nah, I'm not gonna go down this rabbit hole so I've stayed away from them until now and this is the uh, the Hot Wheels this thing is very very nice I couldn't turn it down it was just yeah 143 scale hmm. but beauty car very very nice lots of detail there's the uh, hood yeah, they did a nice job with this. I didn't buy any of the other ones because I don't want to go there. But this Porsche, hmm, I couldn't leave it. I had to do it. Crazy, but I did it. So back. They did a nice job. I'm telling you. It's a cool looking car. And I think a lot of people that don't collect 143 scale will probably pick this up. Just because it is so nice done very very nice now there's no moving parts or anything like that on it but uh, man what a cool car so yeah if you get a chance to pick one up I think you probably will so we're gonna get on to the carded stuff so I'm gonna pack this all up and show you what it looks like in the package and what you're looking for and then all the carded stuff that I got my chases and ultra reds and white lightnings and whatever all right I'll be right back Ready? we're back and this is the uh, 77 Trans Am that I showed loose this is the package that comes in right there there's the car awesome trivia pursuit yeah it's pretty cool that is an awesome awesome car he like said I don't know if the hood opens I wasn't gonna force it so we left her closed and then the uh, Lamborghini Huracan right there that's the package that comes in pretty cool car for sure and then the Chevy pickup truck from Keitel House Mini GT yeah that's the package pretty cool he said I, I have the white one and then the Schwinn this is a 66 Chevy Corvette 427 right there that's the package for it 
And then of course the big one right there, 143 scale Porsche. Yeah, man, it's it's a beauty and it's licensed. It's got the sticker on there. Show its license. Alrighty, so we're gonna do some I guess we'll do some green light first and then I get into oh no we're not. We're gonna do Jada because it's the biggest one I have. It's 124 scale, which I'm trying to stay away from, but it come out with the Looney Tunes Tasmanian Devil and 67 Chevy El Camino. I have a lot of these Looney Tune ones, and I, well, I better stick with it. So we got it. It's pretty cool. Awesome looking car. Did a nice job by Jada. Awesome. And you get the little Tasmanian Devil there. Awesome. Yeah, it's a cool little car. Like I said, I'm trying to stay from stay away from these 124 scales, but you know. I kind of got a theme going with these things, so I might as well stick with it. That is pretty cool. So that's the big 124 scale I got. And then I got into this blue collar. Uh, it's a new set. Came out, Series 13. And we got a 77 Volkswagen double cab pickup truck. Which, you know, this is a casting that's been around for a while. And uh, here it is done in black this time with the white top, black interior, orange bumpers. Pretty cool. And there's the back. Nice. Cool little machine. And then we got the 1965 Harvester Scout half cab pickup right there, which is... I believe this could be a new casting for them because I don't remember seeing this one before. I don't know for sure if it is or not, but uh, this is the first time seeing this one. So I'm guessing it may be. But I could be wrong. Then in this green, looks really good. Nothing wrong with that at all. Got the brown seats in it. Pretty cool little truck. Which they're leaving this on the pegs. Uh, yeah, like normal, I guess. I don't know what the heck's going on with this. I think it looks alright. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Same as that Volkswagen double cab. Yeah, they're leaving that one behind. Then we got the 82 Dodge Ram D250 done in orange. Which looks a little different in this orange. But, uh, all in all, it looks pretty good. It's got the white wheels on her. Doesn't look too bad. The grill looks good in this one. In the front bumper, for sure. Just not a big fan of that color orange. And there's the back. Dodge Ram on the tailgate. That's yeah, not a bad little machine. And then, of course, we got the 87 Chevy Suburban K2 O, or K20. Custom Deluxe, which I opened one of these up a while back, one of these Suburbans, because he did such a nice job with it. And this one here, again, looks very well done. It's got the uh, hubcaps with the Chevy emblems in them and everything. So that's pretty cool. I believe that Chevy emblems. It's hard to see. They're so small. But uh, I will when I see it, when I see it on uh, my television when I watch this video. I'm pretty sure that's what they are. It's a pretty cool little truck. They did a nice job with this. Not bad at all. Awesome. Oh, I better skip that one for a minute. We got this 1991 Ford F-250 XL. Again, super nice casting. This one's got the plow. This is a nice blue with the black interior. It's actually a really good looking truck. It is very nice. There's the plow on the front. You know, they did a nice job with this one. Turned out pretty good. Good looking machine. Nice color. I like the color on this one. Very, very nice. There's the back. Very nice color on that truck. And of course, I got the raw chase to this one. So it's the same truck, just uh, there's no paint on this one. He's a raw. Awesome. 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 Absolutely love it. So there's the front. Again, same thing. Just that it's got no paint. She is a raw. So that is pretty cool to see one of these again. Out in the wild. 
So yeah, there we go. Got the raw. So there's the two. The painted version and the raw one. So that's awesome. And this one here, uh, 2023 Chevy Silverado, 1500. It's done in gray. And this one too actually comes as a raw. I've seen pictures of this as a raw. This is not a raw. This is gray paint. No doubt about that. But it does come as a, a raw as well. Now, I don't know which ones all come as raw, but I know this one does for sure. And of course the Ford truck. So yeah. It's a good casting. They did a nice job with this one. Green light did this very nice. Good looking truck. I think they did very good on this one. Awesome. So then to stick with the green light, I only got a couple of them left, and we got a chase. Now this is an older one, this is Series 10, and this 1955 Chevy Handyman Custom Wagon, which uh, I have it, and I believe it is in white, I can't remember. I should have dug it out, but I didn't. But this is uh, all green, the body is green on this thing, it's pretty cool thing is awesome I love their green paint they do I think they do a fantastic job this one's got some marks on the roof which yeah there's nothing I can do about that but it's still it's a green machine it looks awesome in that green I think it looks fantastic there's the bottom of her just regular but yeah I should have pulled out the original version of this I didn't but on the back of this one the descriptions wrong it's got 1955 Chevy handyman custom wagon here but then it says built by uh, Ken dig and design and it's 1962 Volkswagen 23 window deluxe this is not so they got the wrong description on the back of this one so uh, I think I mentioned it when I got this set a long time ago but uh, yeah I got the green machine to it that's why I'm showing it now that is just awesome and one I do have the uh, regular version of is this one I got 1970 Dodge Challenger Hemi RT this is the green machine it's the green paint which is just awesome absolutely love that green paint they do a bang up job with that so this is the uh, the green machine right there and again it's Bear Jackson series 10 there's the back very very cool white interior so then here is the regular version of it you can tell the green is definitely not the same green so there's the two this is the green machine and there's your regular one so that is awesome very happy happy with them for sure so I guess we will get into some Johnny Lightning well, I only got two Johnny Lightnings and I, this one here, Speed Racer. It is a very odd car for sure, but it, uh, it, it's unique for sure. Uh, there's the uh, description, fun facts there, if you can read it. But it is a very unique for sure. It's not one that I would normally grab but I grabbed this to show you the difference between the white lightning so there's the white lightning of this car right there white wheels white body white base so this is the white lightning of this so yeah I probably would not have picked it up but it is a white lightning so I had to get the two of them so you could show you the difference so yeah White Lightning and non-White Lightning right there. So that's uh, very unique for sure. I think it's cool. But, alright. So, we'll get into some, I guess we'll do some Auto World. Because I do have an Ultra Red in this uh, Auto World stuff. This is a 1991 Pontiac Firebird Formula. And I think they did a bang up job with this. It says new casting. There's some facts if you want to pause it and read it. But uh, they did a really nice job with this. It's uh, done very, very well. It's got the gray interior in it. Nice red. It's 
got pretty cool wheels on her. Here's the front. I got, they did a nice job. I think this thing turned out very, very good. Very nice. And there's the back. Again, awesome job. Awesome. And there's the card art right there. The card's a little wavy, but it's okay. It's still pretty cool. New casting. And another new casting is the 20, 2003 Chevy Silverado right there in green with the tan interior. It's not bad. Like the casting is really good. I'm not a big fan of this color. Not this dark, dark green. You know, maybe it's not the color. Maybe it just doesn't suit this truck. Maybe that's what I should say. Just doesn't suit it, I don't think. But single cab, pretty awesome. Right there's the back. Nice job. Auto World does nice stuff. And there's the uh, facts there, premium facts. You want to pause and read it? That is super cool. Nice truck. And another one of these trucks is just awesome. This is a 2020 Ford F-150 Lorient right there. Uh, they did such a good job with this casting. I just absolutely love it. I have it lots of different times. It says it's a new casting, but I've got it in different colors. This is the FX4 on the back. Black interior. This is done in a Magna Red. And the, even the front, like the grill and everything in it. Very, very nice. I really should open one of these up and show you the better detail, which, yeah, I probably will. I probably will do that. There's some premium facts if you can read it. You want to pause it and read it. Yeah, that is just gorgeous. Did a great job. I wish they would do a single cab because that's what I have is the single cab F-150. I think that would be cool. So, yeah, that is done in that red and here's another one same thing this is lead foot gray and it's almost mm, it almost looks like it has a little bit of a green tinge to it but uh it's hard to tell maybe it's just the lighting doing that but it's another beauty just a beauty truck outer world did a great job with this fantastic there's the back I can't see what the license plate says, but maybe I will when I watch the video. I don't know if it's going to focus on it or not, but whatever. I would imagine the uh, facts are the same as the other one. So that's that. So that's those two. And I showed this one. I showed the pair of them. There's two different versions. There's a version B and version A, and this is version B, and this is the 2015 Ford Mustang GT. Petty's Garage, which, yeah, if you remember, I did show this, if you did watch that video, but I got this one out, there's the facts, to show you, there's a difference, there's the Ultra Red, so there's the two, side by each, this is an Ultra Red, this thing is absolutely gorgeous in that color, black top chrome interior which is a little different but it's got nice chrome wheels which looks really really good on this the color red is awesome of course right there she is beautiful they did a nice job this thing looks so good in these colors back just awesome i i, I don't know what to say it is just absolutely gorgeous that thing and there's the white base so that's the ultra red in the uh, auto world love it love it love it beautiful car beautiful so yeah there's the two the regular version and the ultra red version awesome alrighty so now we'll get into some um, twos which is a new hauler set out this is release 73 and it's a 1977 Chevy Cheyenne Super 30 and a 73 Chevy truck. Right here it's done in orange with the brown interior. You know the orange and this white, it, it goes 
really really good she's a dually she in real life this would be one super big truck super long but uh, they did a nice job with this this thing turned out really really nice it looks good in those colors for sure awesome 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 and then the 73 truck right there done in red with the black interior it's got some really nice wheels on her right there beauty that's a good looking truck right there not bad at all but you can see the box is tilted down that seems to be a almost a trademark for M2 because pretty much all their trucks have that the one I don't have like that is that last Ford pickup truck that I got it was a chase and the truck is the bed is sitting perfect but this one is not so yeah there we go beauty another nice one from that set is the 1956 Mercury M100 truck and 1949 Mercury custom now this thing is very very sharp it's got the full dish hubcaps on this one which looks really really cool it's a good looking truck for sure it's got the white interior in there I don't know how well you see it but it's a pretty cool blue it's a little light on the paint in the box but uh, yes yeah, it's a pretty cool truck I like that truck and look at the front that grill um, it's like a Chrysler 300 grill I don't know why they put that grill in this truck, but uh, they've done it quite a few times. And uh, it's definitely not the right grill for it, but it's still pretty cool. And there's the back of her. Done very nice. And then, of course, we got the Merc right there. That thing is just awesome. This casting's been around for a long time. And uh, they put different paint schemes on them, and, you know, I just love it. I think they did a nice job with this car. I like this casting. I think it's really, really cool. It's got the blue flames with the green in it. White interior with some black in there. Yeah. That is a cool car. Awesome. Absolutely love that car. So there's the back. Not really much there, but still pretty cool. It's a Merc. And then an odd one is Spam. Right here, this is a 1964 Dodge A100 panel van, 1944 Jeep MB. So there's the uh, Spam truck. It's a, uh, it's definitely different, you know. And you can tell the scale is uh, way off compared to the trailer for sure, because that little thing would not pull a great big trailer like that, I don't think. But uh, yeah, the scale is off quite a bit on this one, but. Other than that, it is still a pretty cool little machine. Spam. That's not real popular here in Canada. We, uh, we're, I don't think we're into that too much around here. I think it's more of an American thing. And then we have the Jeep right there. Again, this casting has been around for a while. It still looks pretty good. Not bad. The trailer's pretty cool for sure but yeah that van scale is way off there's the back of the Jeep and the trailer there it's even got spam on the trailer you can't really see it because the Jeep's on top of it but yeah it's still a pretty cool little set one that they're leaving behind a lot and then I guess I could show you my chase right here uh, I opened one of these a few videos back I actually took it out of the package and showed you all what it's about and now I have the chase to it so it's pretty cool 79 Chevy Silverado Eddie Brock right there black interior you know that's that truck's the same the bottom truck is the same as what the uh, regular version is right there and the only thing different is the chase and it's the top one and it's got the gold so it's got your gold exhaust and everything where it should be chrome. Yeah, that's uh, that's the chase version of it. The hood is open on her. Pretty cool, gold front. So that's the uh, the chase version. I should have pulled out the regular version, but I'm sure you all know what the regular version looks like. So yeah, that's the chase. 
And then we got some Authentics, and actually I just got this one from Release uh, 83. I haven't managed. I haven't managed to find the rest of them yet. 1990 Chevy 15 C1500 Silverado, and this is Foose, which is really cool. Good looking truck. Did a nice job on this for sure. I think that's awesome. There's the front. Now, I don't have the rest of this set. It's something I'll have to work on and uh, hopefully find it. And there's the back. At least I believe I haven't seen it or don't have it. I just don't remember this truck and I've seen it on the shelf so I picked it up. So I'm not sure what's going on here. I, I don't think I have this set. But uh, that is one cool truck. Did a nice job for sure. And then I got a full set here, and this is uh, Release 77. This is the 1976 GMC Sierra 1500 4x4, and this one does come as a chase. This is not the chase. This is your regular version. Now, the chase has gold wheels, and these have got uh, a coppery color wheel, I guess, goldish looking wheel, but it is not the chase. But uh, it does come as a chase. There's the top there, 750 piece chase worldwide. But uh, yeah, I didn't get lucky enough to find the chase, but I got the regular version, which I'm really, really happy to even get this. Because I would think this one here could be quite sought after. And it might be hard to get. So I did get one. I got the whole set. Happy, happy. So yeah, that's uh, one from there. And another one is the Mercury Sun Valley 1954. A cool casting. I think it's really cool. It's got the roof wide open like it's glass. And it is nice. I think this casting is really cool. The fit and finish on it is not so good on the doors. But, uh, you know, it's, it's a cool casting. It's a cool looking car. I do like it. Yeah, 1954 Merc. I've got it in a few different colors. And now I have it in this red, which looks really good in red for sure. Not bad. And then we have the 1974 Torino Cobra, done in blue with the black interior. Again, very cool looking car. The hood is propped open a little bit. You can't really see in there, but... Uh, I would imagine there's a little bit of detail in there. But uh, yeah, another cool casting from M2. Yeah, not bad. There's the back. Little skinny wheels on her. You know, you'd think they'd put a little wider tire under it, but they did what they did. And then we got 1960s Volkswagen single cab truck. This is an odd color. It's a uh, orangey color, orangey pink, I guess. It's definitely different for sure, but it's still pretty cool. Nothing wrong with that. Very unique. They're not picking this one up. I've seen this one left behind quite a few times now. So it's not a fan favorite, I guess. But uh, eh, it's all right. It's a set. I'm happy. That's why I'm showing you the whole set. That's what I like to do is show you the whole set. And the 1970 Dodge Challenger Super B, done in this green. Looks good in this green with the black. Not bad. It's got a nice little stance to it. It does look really good. And again, this car has been around for a while. But uh, they keep putting different paint jobs on it, which is all right. Still pretty cool casting. You can see the, the doors don't quite fit right there on there. There's a great big gap in that one. Almost looks like it's ready to fall off. But whatever, that's something M2 should be working on, hopefully. There's the back, the spoiler. Pretty cool. And then we have the 1970s Chevelle SS 396. Awesome. Absolutely love it. It's done in silver with the uh, black racing stripes. Not a huge fan of the, uh, the red interior. But the color combination they got on this thing 
it works it it does it looks really really good and uh, yeah I think this one here is a little tougher to find just because it is a good looking car like the the paint just pops this car very very nice they did a nice job with this one for sure there's the back awesome love it did a nice job very very cool alrighty well I guess that does it I've uh, got through it all and I uh, got lots more for next weekend and actually I got a chase in the mini GTs to show you so uh, yeah I guess we'll leave it at that and uh, I guess if you like that go ahead and uh, hit that like and subscribe and thanks for watching see ya